In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really simple but really effective diagonal wiping transition. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first just want to make sure that you've got two video clips sat next to each other like this. So as you can see, I've got one clip here and then we're straight in to the next clip here. Now, in order to do this transition, we're going to need a color mat. So we'll go to our project bin, which is over here on the left. And there's two ways of doing this. You can either right click here and go new item color mat, or alternatively, you can press the new item button and select color mat. It doesn't matter which option you choose here. Both are going to give you this new color mat menu. So once you've got that, you just want to select OK and select a color of your choice. So I'm going to select a nice purpley pink somewhere around here. Press OK, OK on this, and we'll drop this at the point of the transition. So somewhere around here. There you go. We'll just shorten the start of this because we don't need it to be that long. And we'll do the same thing at the end. We'll just pull this back towards that transition. So as you can see, we've got the cut between these two clips on video layer one and our color mat on video layer two. Now, what we need to do here is we need to go ahead and change the anchor point. Now, the anchor point is basically just where an object animates from. So let's say if this was the object that we were animating, for example, if the anchor point was in the very center and I changed the rotation, it would rotate around the middle. But if the anchor point was in this corner and I was to increase the rotation, it would rotate like this. And basically that's what we need to do with this transition. We need to add the anchor point to the one of the corners. And then when we animate the rotation, it will animate from one of those corners and that will look great. So basically in order to do that, we just need to select our color mat. We'll go into effect controls, motion, anchor point. And as you can see, the anchor point is represented by this blue circle here. So at the moment it's in the middle. And like I said, if I was to increase the rotation, it rotates around the middle. So I'm just going to move that to the bottom left corner in my example. There you go, we'll move that down there. And then we can move the position over like this. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because we can adjust the scale later on. Now we'll go to that transition point here and we'll go back on ourselves, maybe five keyframes. Now from there, we'll just go to rotation and we'll pull the rotation back until the video appears off screen. So in my example, that's negative 90. That should do the trick. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on the rotation. Now we'll go to that center point and we'll go five frames to the right. And we'll pull the rotation to the plus number. So we'll bring it onto screen and then bring it down off screen. So we'll bring that down. And to get that off screen, I have to go to plus 90. So when we play this back, you can see we've got this really fast transition and it doesn't really work as a transition at the moment because this just looks a bit ugly. So from here, what we want to do is we want to increase the scale. So we'll go to effect controls, motion, scale, and we'll increase this until it appears to be completely off the screen like this. So it's completely covering the entire video and scrub through your video to make sure that at all times it is completely covering the screen. So there you go at the moment here, it's not quite doing the job. So we'll increase the scale again and we'll just carry on watching through. And there you go. That looks really cool. Although the problem is at the moment, you can actually see we're starting to get the video bleed in down here. And that's because the anchor point at the moment is just a little bit too close to that corner. So we'll just zoom out to 75% say, and we'll just push that anchor point even further past that bottom left corner. And we'll move the position back into the center like this. So let's play this back now. There you go. That looks really cool. The problem is though, adjusting the anchor point and the position has meant that this top right corner is now exposing part of the video. So we'll just increase the scale again. And when we play this back, you can see we've got this really cool transition, but at the moment that is extremely fast. It's just a bit too much. So we're going to increase the length of the color mat at the beginning and at the end. We'll go to that center point and we'll go back on ourselves, maybe 12 keyframes. There you go. And we'll pull this keyframe over to there. Now we'll go back to the middle, go 12 to the right. And we'll pull that keyframe over to that point. So we've got 12 to the left, 12 to the right. So there's a 24 frame difference between the first point and the second point. And that looks a lot better. 
Now it's really important that the screen is filled with this color mat at the point where these two clips meet. Let's say we nudge this over to the left. So at the moment the screen is filled here, but the transition actually happens over here. Let me play this back. You can actually see there's a bit of a cut there. There's a delay in the transition. So you want to find the center of that transition and move that on top of those clips where they meet like this. And that is how you end up with that really awesome video transition. Now, of course, once you've created this transition, if you wanted to speed it up, then again, just pull these closer into the center. Just make sure they are that same value. So if you go 10 to the left, make sure it's 10 to the right, three to the left, three to the right. Make sure that's perfectly even. But then once you've made all of your adjustments, if you decide you no longer want this color, then all you have to do is just double click on the color mat and that will load up the color picker. So you can go ahead, change the color to something else and that will change that like this. Now, once you like the look of that, you can just go ahead and press C to load up the razor tool and make a cut in the middle of that. And now we know that this cut here should always marry up to the transition. So if you want to copy these and you want to add these multiple times into your video, you just copy that. So command C, you nudge over and then you just basically marry up this line here to the transition point. And that will always work in your video moving forward. And you know that's perfectly lined up. So there you go. That is how you create this really simple but really effective diagonal sliding wiping transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.